how the Calculus with Physics application app differs from Calculus Made Easy. So when you go to press menu, um, you will see that the menu here is identical to the menu and the features that you find in Calculus Made Easy. Okay, so you scroll down, you find all the same topics here that you find in uh, Calculus Made Easy. It's a complete um, walk through calculus from the beginning through uh, multivariable calculus, including multiple integrals, Laplace transforms, etc. But what I want to show you now is where exactly this calculus with physics app differs from calculus made easy, which is option one here. Physics apps. I um, look at the menu more precisely and then you can see all the physics applications that require calculus. So for example, if you want to find center of mass for two dimensions, you click on it, you enter your two functions, if you have an upper and a lower function, if you only have an upper function u of x, then ignore L of x, the lower function, enter an integral, enter the density function, and then don't press enter anything. You can just scroll down and see the computation that is needed to find the center of mass for uh, two dimensions. You see it x bar and y bar here, computed as m y over m divided by x, m x over m. And here it is as a fraction. If you want uh, decimal answers, you will just change the 4 or the 1 to a 4.0 or 4 point. A decimal input creates a decimal output. And you can see the setup, of course, of the integrals right here. The integrals, antiderivatives, and then evaluated over the interval from 1 to 4. And that gives you these answers here. So that's one example. Let's go back to menu, physics apps, and let's find, you can see all the moments of inertia here, mass of a solid. I'm going to scroll down to just give you an idea of all the other applications, heat transfer, hydrostatic force, work is the integral of force, fluid force, Okay, so let's, for example, look at work as integral of force. That is straightforward. Force as a function of x. Enter it right here. Over the interval from 1 to 5, you just integrate the force function over this integral interval, sorry. Ten hours and you get 88 as a force. Well, that was a simple example. Let's do maybe one or two more. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate emailing us, and we can answer your question. Center of a mass of a solid three dimensions. So we enter our density function here in terms of x, y, and z right here. Um, the lower and the upper bounds in terms of x and y, lower function, upper function, a and b. Okay, so if we now change um, the density function, let's say it's going to be z times x, and I scroll down here, you can see there's much more computations involved because we have here um, um, uh, three integrals involved instead of two. And if you scroll down carefully, you can see how each integral gets evaluated until the antiderivatives are found. Every one of them is found. And, uh, well, let me just scroll down all the way to the bottom. All the way to the bottom. OK. 
okay mass of solid m is found right here also as a triple integral and you can see how the bounds change in terms of inner integral in terms of x and y then in terms of x and then just a number and then finally you end up with a center of mass of a 3d in terms of x y and g is right here again if you wanted to have a decimal output you would have to just change the input to a decimal instead of a whole number all right so again let's take a last look at the menu for physics apps and if you have any more questions or if you would like us to add more um, calculus based physics apps just send us an email all of this is available at uh, calculus with physics applications thanks for watching